Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video, where each and every week I go over all the games that are currently on sale on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and I pick out which would be my top picks of the week. Now this week, the list is a little shorter than usual, falling somewhere between 15 to 20 games, but although the list is shorter, the quality of the games is very high, with almost each one of these games being a definite pickup at this price. Also, just a friendly reminder that I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. And I know for a fact that a lot of those games are still on sale this week, so if you want to make sure you're getting all the best deals, also check out last week's video. Also, as usual, about halfway through the video, we'll be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. If you're wondering how you can participate in that giveaway, all you need to do is check out my under $5 eShop deals video that comes out midweek. And lastly, just before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to the Cubic Game Sale that has been actually extended with the Summer Is On sale. And I'm going to be leaving a link down below to that sale with the instructions of how to get access to it, because basically they have a lot of games on sale and actually some that weren't included in their previous event. The reason I'm linking it down below is that most of these games will actually be featured in the under $5 video because the deals are so good. But I didn't want any of you to miss out on it, so you can always check it out for yourself or tune back in for the midweek video. Now don't forget that if you do like this content and you want to see more, please hit that like button, it's the best way to support the channel, and subscribe if you aren't already. Now the first game on our list is going to be Crypt of the Necrodancer, the Nintendo Switch edition that is currently 80% off, dropping the price to only $3.99. Now this is a rhythm-based, roguelite dungeon crawler, but it is a fantastic game to pick up. This game, as I said each and every time I present it, it was so good that Nintendo asked them to make a Hyrule version of it featuring the characters from Zelda. When Nintendo hands you one of their top franchises and asks you to make a game centered around the same mechanics as you used for yours, you know that you have something special on your hands. And at only $3.99, this is a definite game that I would want to have in my library. Now the next game on our list is maybe not a top pick for me, but I know for a lot of people out there, they love the Just Dance series. And right now, Just Dance 2020 is $19.99. Now, this is a great game that if you don't have it at this price, it's really fun when you have people come over to just throw a couple of Joy-Cons in their hand and have some dancing fun. I have to mention these games every time they're on sale because my girls love them a ton and at only $20 when they fall on sale like that, it is really the best time to pick them up because it happens on a regular, regular basis. The next game on our list, however, is one that I enjoy quite a bit and that is Crisis Remastered that is back to its 50% off at $14.99. If you like first person action FPS games, well Crisis Remastered is one of the best ones we have on the Switch. And for years and years, people always ask the question, can the Nintendo Switch run Crisis? Well, you know what? We finally got the answer last year, and yes, it can run Crisis. And the remastered version is actually quite one of the best versions you can get of this game. Now, the next series is a 2D platforming series that I really hope we eventually get a new entry because it was one of those series that in the last few years, we haven't had any new entries and it always delivered on top-notch fun, and that is the Rayman series. And currently we have Rayman Legends, the definitive edition that is 75% off for $9.99. Now this is a traditional 2D platformer style of game, meaning that you jump on people's heads to kill them, and it's all about the platforming. But it is among one of the best series, and this is among one of the best entries we've ever had in the Rayman series. If you need any convincing for yourself, there's actually a free downloadable demo of this game. But if you're into 2D platformers, you haven't played this one yet, at only $10, you're getting an excellent entry. Now the next game on our list is going to be Panzer Dragoon Remake that still has a few days left on its sale at 75% off, dropping the price to only $6.24. Now this is a great arcade style on the rail shooter that has you riding on the back of a dragon. And it is from the days where Sega was at the top of its game. And this remake was done with very, very lot of fidelity to the original. However, the only downside to this game is that it is not that long. Most people will be able to knock it out in a, under a couple of hours. 
However, this being an arcade style game, it was made to be played over and over again with giving yourself different challenges and different objectives. I bought it full price and never looked back and never regretted a minute. However, now at $6.24, I think that anyone could pick this game up and will feel completely, completely satisfied. Now, the next game on our list is going to be For the King. That is finally at a price where I feel comfortable that, yes, you should be picking this game up. It is 66% off, dropping the price to $8.49. This is a roguelite tabletop style RPG, where basically you take turns, you and the AI, basically facing off on different maps. And although the gameplay style is old school, the visuals and the presentation is, are very, very beautiful. And overall, the game is very well built and plays well. It's just an older type of design where I was waiting for really a top notch sale to be able to suggest this one. And at this price, if you're interested in any of those genres, you'll be getting a really good deal. Now, next on our list, we have Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered that is back to 60% off for $15.99. If you like 3D action adventure games, currently for this week, this is probably your best stop. Assassin's Creed never disappoints. Assassin's Creed 3 was a very, very solid entry. It is among one of the best. So if you're into that genre of gameplay and you haven't picked this one up yet, just to have it in a portable format, Assassin's Creed 3 is an amazing pickup. Now, next on our list, we have Child of Light that is 75% off for only $4.99. Now, I mentioned this game this week in my under $5 video, but it is so good that I had to mention it here on the weekend just in case you were missed out on that other video. Child of Light is basically a 2D platformer with RPG-like combat. So it basically blends RPG and platforming, and it does so in a very, very good way fashion. On top of it, Child of Light has some amazing visuals with a really, really awesome art style that looks like it's almost watercolored. If you haven't played this game yet, definitely give it a try. At only $5, it is definitely a steal. Now, the next game on our list is one that I mention on a regular basis, and that is South Park The Stick of Truth. That is 60% off at $11.99. Now, basically, this is an RPG adventure set in the South Park universe. And as I've said pretty much every time I've talked about this game, number one, it's a darn solid RPG. Number two, all the humor that you would normally expect from South Park is there. It's like you're playing through a huge multi-episode arc of South Park, and you won't be disappointed by the storyline as well. Now, the next game on our list is actually making a first appearance, and that is Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. That is currently 50% off at only $7.49. Now, this is an awesome twist on the old school space shooter, because rather than playing a tiny little ship trying to make your way through the levels, you're playing a huge spaceship with multiple cannons, multiple activities to be done on board, and it's actually designed to be played in co-op. Don't worry, if you're playing alone, you can have an AI assist you. But at the same time, this is a game that really the top-notch enjoyment comes when you're playing in couch co-op mode. However, for whether you're playing alone or two players, right now at 50% off, this is a game I would definitely look into picking up. I played it, I did, was not disappointed, and it should definitely be on your radar for this week. So now, just before we move on to the next game, it's time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner will be Daniel Sosa, with his comment that said, maybe I'll finally get Yoku's Island Express, thanks for making these videos. And you know what, Daniel, you are right, Yoku's Island Express is an excellent pickup from this week's under $5 video. And you haven't picked it up yet? Well, hopefully, if you claim the $5 gift card, you'll be able to use it to finally get the game. All you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift card is to reach out to me in my pinned comment down below in this video. Now the next game on my list is going to be one of the top picks for this week and that is Moonlighter the Complete Edition that is currently 70% off for $8.69. Now you could get the regular edition of Moonlighter this week but there's only about a dollar to a dollar and a half that separates it from the Complete Edition. And the DLC on its own is generally sold for around $5. So if you're going to pick something up, I would definitely say just go straight for the complete edition. Drop that extra dollar to a dollar and fifty. Now this is a 
action RPG with roguelite elements. And it is among one of my favorite on the Switch. I know we have a lot of these games, so at one point you have to pick and choose which ones you want to try out and which ones you want to play. I definitely think that Moonlighter should be on the list of the definite ones that you should play. It's among one of my personal favorites, and when it falls on sale, I'm always happy to see it so I can suggest it to other people. Now, the next game on our list, we looked at the first entry just a little bit earlier, but it is the second South Park game, which is South Park, the Fractured But Whole, the Gold Edition, that is also 75% off, dropping the price to only $22.49. Now, this is once again the pack that includes all the DLC, which is why it's a little bit more expensive than the other. But once again, this is South Park done in an RPG fashion, but this time done as a sort of strategy RPG rather than turn-based RPG. Personally, I found the humor from the first episode a tiny bit better than this one, but nonetheless, if you're a fan of the South Park series, this one is the same as the first one. It is a not-miss opportunity to play your way through a huge multi-arc episode. Now, the next game is also making its first appearance on our list, and that is Neon Abyss, that is currently 33% off at $13.39. Now, this is a roguelike action platformer, and if you've ever played Enter the Dungeon or Exit the Dungeon, this is like a midpoint between the two that never came to be by that developer, and it actually feels very close to that experience. If you need more convincing for yourself, there's actually a free downloadable demo to this one as well. But now that it's finally on sale for at least a third off, I can finally suggest this one because it is a really solid experience for anyone into action platformers, especially with a roguelike design. Now, the next game on our list is also making its first appearance, and that is Icy, that is 50% off at $4.99. Now, this is a 2D side-scrolling action game, and it is an excellent one. And I can't even believe that its regular sales price is only $10. Had I discovered this game previously, I'd be suggesting it already for quite a while, even at its full price. So at $5 this week, if you're into action games, I would say that Icy should be a definite pickup. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Children of Mortha, that this week is 50% off at $10.99. Now, this is another top-down action RPG roguelite. And personally, if you ask me to choose between this one and Moonlighter, my personal preference is for Moonlighter. But I know a lot of people that actually prefer Children of Morta's gameplay to that other entry, so it's really a 50-50 in my opinion. But what I actually have to praise Children of Morta for is that they normally give a lot of support. They keep adding free DLC to their game, and that is something that I always like to mention and love to see. Now, the next game on our list is another game that I'm taking from my under $5 list this week. But once again, this is a game that is so good, I want to make sure no one is missing out on it. And that is Velocity 2X, that is 75% off at $4.99. This is basically the mix between a shoot 'em up and a 2D platformer. Basically, you keep jumping between stages, between shoot 'em up stages, piloting a vessel, and 2D action stages that, although they are 2D action, actually quite resemble a shoot 'em up as well. And the action is fantastic. Even at $20, this game, in my opinion, would be an easy pickup. At $5, it becomes a total, total no brainer, in my opinion, if you're into any of those styles of gameplay. Now, the next game is also one that I'm taking from my under $5 list. Same reason as the previous one. It actually surprised me so much that I want to make sure that as many people can pick it up as possible. And that is Freedom Finger. Yes, the concept is out there. You fly as a hand flying through space, giving everyone the finger. But this is not only a gimmick game. It's a shoot 'em up and the game itself is actually very, very good and very entertaining because of its overall crazy presentation. As I said in the under $5 video, it reminds me a lot of the concepts of the Parodia series, where it's just over the top everything, the presentation is great, the action is great, the controls are good, this is an all-around really good shoot 'em up just with a really funny concept behind it. Now, the next game on the list is one that I love to suggest when it's on sale, 
And that is Scully. That is 75% off at $7.49. It's a 3D platformer where a lot of the levels you're basically controlling a ball that has to basically deal with ball-like physics. As you can understand, there will be some frustrating elements coming from that in the different stages. And then at different points, you will also inhabit different bodies, basically your skull becoming more of a normal character with different abilities. But overall, it was actually, in my opinion, quite a fun game. Although if you compare it at its full price of $30, there are a lot of better options on the eShop. At $7.49, in my opinion, it is a serious contender for a very good game at that price. Now, next on the list, we have one of my favorite two packs that is back on sale, and that is the Valferis and Slain double pack. That is 66% off at $13.59. What these two games basically have in common is that they both have great heavy metal soundtracks and a also heavy metal type of presentation or aesthetic. What is great about the two games, one is a shooter, one is a melee combat game. Both are pretty difficult, so they are for hardcore 2D action platformer fans, but at the same time, they are incredible games. And when you get them both at this price in a double pack, it is pretty much the cheapest way to pick up these two great games, and you've got a lot of gaming fun ahead of you. Now, finally, to round off our list, we have another one of my favorite two packs, and that is the Onikin and Odalus bundle at 75% off for $4.99 for both games. Now, these are some great 2D side scrollers, although in an older aesthetic than the previous pack. One is based sort of like a Castlevania aesthetic, but with RPG elements thrown in, sort of like a halfway point between the old school Castlevanias and Symphony of the Night that we got on the PS1. The second one, which is Onikin, is just like one of those pure 80s action platformers that we got in the type of Ninja Gaiden, but not quite as difficult. Nonetheless, this is another amazing pack for only $5 for two great games for this week. So that was pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. So yes, the list was a little bit shorter than usual, but nonetheless, I think there are a ton of quality games on the list. And you know what? It's to be expected that the eShop is a little quieter than usual. With E3 hitting next week, a lot of the developers are gearing up for that and they want the attention on E3 not on eShop deals. And while we're on that subject, I plan to be covering all the important announcements that involve the Nintendo Switch that will be coming out on E3. So if you're looking for that type of content, keep your eyes open starting next week. We're probably going to get a regular inflow of videos based on that news. Lastly, I want to congratulate again this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. Don't forget to reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. And as usual, on the way out, don't forget that if you did like this content, please hit the like button to support the channel. Also, subscribe if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.